until he comes home. Joe and Stephen Delaney fear their son is drunk on his own party PR and are calling on him to have the courage to come home and to face them over what he's done. Claire Brady has more. Yeah. You want to cheer them up, do you think? I hope so. <laughs> it will take more than flowers to appease these parents. Have enough guts. Just have enough guts. You've been a show pony long enough. Joe and Stephen Delaney express their disappointment in Corey on Today Tonight. Now he's lying low, refusing to face the music. Don't know where he is. Obviously, we're keen to get him back home. We, we need to work through this with him and mm. the police. We need to, you yeah. know, sort everything out. They fear their son's ego is out of control. The 16-year-old won't even take his parents' calls. They know he'll be hard to discipline. Now Corey's pear-shaped party has even made headlines around the world. Now a teenager in Australia could be hit with a $20,000 bill for his hard partying ways. His arrogance that he's demonstrated in Blase is obviously being hyped up because he's got all his mates on side egging him on. And he's laughing at the law. Oh, I find that pretty funny. Joe and Stephen believe he's feeding on the instant fame generated from his weekend party that spiralled out of control. 500 teenagers turned up, police cars were trashed and the neighbourhood was under siege. All unbeknownst to Joe and Stephen on holiday interstate. We've got our home back to some semblance of order. We've been very lucky that it hasn't been physically trash but it's been I suppose to, to put the, the best word for it it's been violated you know like the, the condition of the house was disgusting there's just no respect no regard you can't chain them down can you Victoria's chief commissioner is still furious um, he needs to learn a lesson and I think that one way or another we'll do that but even the threat of a $20,000 fine for chewing up police time means nothing to this team I don't see how they can. I mean, this might be a, a scare tactic or a threat by the Chief Commissioner, but uh, I don't understand any legal principle that makes the parents responsible for the actions of their 16-year-old child in the absence of knowing that he was going to do something particularly stupid. Legal minds like Philip Dunn QC warn police they'd best not count on seeing a cent. Zero and good luck. He has to realise you know, the damage that he's created he, and he, he has to take responsibility. But Corey's Facebook friends are already taking around the hat, trying to bail him out of trouble. Corey has become an instant household name. Other parents pity the Delaney's. People, I think, are, you know, kind of be looking out for him. That he, he's obviously put himself on public display and uh, he's going to make himself a bit of a sitting duck. He didn't seem to care at all, did he? I'd kill him. He'd be mowing a lot of lawns, won't he? He's into a tool. <laughs> he is a tool. But to these parents, he's still their son, and they just want him home. He just has to stop what he's doing. Just stop it. Corey, with his pierced nipples and peroxide hair, is now the party planner on the run from his parents and was... police. Yes, I was doing it like this week and my parents went home. Let's hope he faces the music soon. Claire Brady there in Melbourne.